what up y'all it's your boy scrappy mug god aka your mama ugly boyfriend god damn and i'm back with another episode of madden ultimate team the chocolate swirl series the road to elite episode one are y'all ready because i'm ready i can see my top three players the best players in madden and i'm gonna show y'all why my team is 99 overall as well. Y'all seeing 99s. As you know, I love to get the ball at halftime because halftime is prime time. Now you can see he's on offense. He run that same kind of play everybody else is run. Everybody else run, you know. I don't know what the hell he was doing right there. I guess he was smashing A to hike that ball. You know how EA be doing people. You can't hike the ball after you change the play. Now you see I'm roaming around the field with damn Mark Barron. See him about to throw it to the damn tight end. I can't get there, but luckily he overthrew it. Overthrew the ball. He's on fourth down right here. You know nobody punting Madden. You know it's not common courtesy no more. He do the same, the same play. You know, and I just put people in position to make plays. See I'm in my split coach formation. Love that formation, man. Going to the run right here. Get a decent game. Trying to fake him out with the pass. And you see I throw a dot on the outside for a touchdown to my boy Conley. The best wide receiver in this game. 69 overall silver, man. 69 overall silver. He keep on doing the same play over and over again. He love that tight end route. So you can see after a while, I'm just trying to start using it. And you see my, oh man, we barely missed that interception. He threw in the triple coverage. Barely missed it, but you know, that's, that's, that's going to happen when we got players like this. He throws it out route, you know, trying to be like me and all, but you can't be like me. I'm scrappy. We the savages. You can't be like us. You see? And you know, as you see, the whole rest of the game, I'm just trying to stay on this tight end. The whole game, you see, just every play on this tight end. He starts to roll out. We start chasing him out. He playmakers. <sighs> if my players had more agility, you know, we, we would have been able to get that ball, but we couldn't get it. I think this is a near close formation he's in now. Uh, I have decent, you know, I decent stop that jump. But you see, we get a pick right there. Don't test the users. We right there for it. I think we had the one yard line. We, we tried to throw the ball up. He came out in field goal. So we tried to throw the ball over the top, but apparently his end was in man to man. I don't know how he did that. I guess it's a play call he do. And, you know, I, he started playing cover two and cover and, and cover one, man to man. So I was like, let me tack him over the middle. But you can see, I just wasn't making the right reads. But like my boy GS says, when in doubt, throw it out from the one yard line. We out here, but we didn't get the first down. But you can see he's back in that field goal. You see me come out and go line, and Jeremy Langford is on the way to the house, to the 20, the 10, and the touchdown, man. That dude's a beast. 99 overall gold car, as you can see on the screen right there. Straight monster. The only reason I usually show, I'm showing these is because usually I miss these things. I'm not really good at keeping PATs, but 60 yarders, I make easy. I don't know why. But as you see right here, you know, we, we do good users on the play trying to tackle him. He keep on trying to run the ball. And granted, I would try to run the ball on my team too. And you see he's gaining yards on the play with LaShawn McCoy, probably the best running back in the game. You see I'm roaming around the field, my boy Fua and my boy Vinny Curry. Coming around the edge, hit him in the backfield, straight heaters. You know, seeing a little bit of heat out. You see, Vinny, bro, Vinny, he, he's in the backfield, causing problems. And there I go again with that strip button. Why? Why am I using that strip button so much? I don't know, but eventually I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn my lesson. You know, we got good run defense right here. Hey, the, the red zone is the dead zone. You, you don't move the ball here. Oh, I know he's angry about that play. I know he's angry. I'd be mad when people drop open passes too. But it's okay, though. I'll take it any day. You see, we got more good run defense right here. Stuffing up the middle. And, you know, you see me drop back. When I'm, try, I'm trying to stop him from rolling out. And we do. And you see, McCain gets the pick. You see, I'm still attacking the out routes. He's in that cover two invert. And I see I see him. He's playing that post route. So I'm trying to attack the outside. You know, that's the best way to do it. When somebody's trying to play over the middle more, you attack the out. You see, I didn't think, think he'll get back to this in time. And he did. Then that's Von Bell he got the pick with. And, you know, <sighs> through the pick, man. That, that's dumb. That's a dumb move on my part. But it's okay. We're going to try to make it up for it. We're going to try and send a little bit of heat at him. And he's trying to throw the ball up to, I think that's Herman Moore. And it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. The squad too real. You see, we sending a little bit of heat and my boy Dowlin. Get the pick, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Take it to the house, man. Damn. Hold my dick. 
We out here, man. 99 overall, Dowling. Straight beats. If y'all want them, go pick them up, man. Hold on. Hold on now. You know what that means when they pause the game. Shout out to my boy AJ Luke. You know what it means. And he out of here. Man, we did it, man. Game one. We did it. And we out. Follow me on all social medias. Let's get it.